Oh, so what y'all saying is, y'all don't remember what I used to do to the Clippers in a regular season. I used to do this with Bobos on my feet. I used to make CP3 sit down every time I saw them. No chair involved. I used to put my man on skates. No inlines. That's what I'm talking about right now. That's what I do out here in these streets. But look, game two of round one is about to start. I'm about to put on a different pair of Jordans. That's right. About to put on them sixes. Let's do it, man. King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I pop. King Carter, King Carter. Yo, this game is ours for the taking, fellas. We ain't gonna let CP3 get his way. And as soon as he gets frustrated, we're gonna blow him out the water. So let's do it. Yo, what's going on team IKC? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I'm bringing you guys the NBA playoffs round one game two against the Clippers. It's going to be an action packed game. Now, the thing about this game is it's not about the scoring. It's not about the assists, the rebounds. It's not about none of that. It's not even about offense or defense. It's about how frustrated you can get any team in the NBA. Now, we all know in real life, Blake Griffin got fouled out and threw water on a fan. Well, I'm going to reenact that game right here. Even though it's, you know, the Clippers versus the Pelicans and not the Warriors, I'm going to make it happen, man. So we're at home. We're making it do what it do. And I'm just here to get everyone frustrated. I'm here to just tell the Clippers straight out the gate, you guys can't stop me. So the first thing I'm going to do is go at Reddick Chess and get the foul. That right there starts the tormenting of me. Like, I can't see on the court. As soon as I step on this court, they're going to know you don't want to mess with me. Check out how I got Blake Griffin all out of position right there with that pick let anthony davis cut to the rim and get a nice two-hand slam yo i'm telling y'all just watch watch the way this game develop yo i promise you i was putting on a show like the refs were giving me good calls uh the fans were screaming and yelling and look at this oh my god i don't even want to look at the screen right now turn your heads people turn your heads it got ugly i think some i think some balls got in somebody's face jameson you might want to wash your beard but look I was getting guys out of their element. Anthony Davis was going off on Blake Griffin. Him right there, he kind of planted the seed this game. Look, Blake is all out of position, don't know what's going on. And I promise you, all I did was pour water onto that flame, man. We got Blake Griffin out of his element so bad. Matter of fact, you know what? I don't even want to talk about that. I'm just going to talk about the gameplay because y'all going to see it later in the game. You know what I'm saying? Things going to happen. But, oh, my God. Look. Did I just spread my legs on that man? Like, did I hit him with some mayonnaise spread? Like, I'm feeling like Mike out here. That was an MJ move. How I'm going to spread my legs like that on a poster? That got real ugly. But look, I called for the uh, god darn alley-oop. And look at the, look at Blake. What is Blake doing out here? Look at him. Frustrated. See that? See his face? See his face right there? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, we getting him out of his element. Things are going good, and the fouls are coming. They're in foul trouble darn near every single quarter. Like, I think they got five team fouls three out of the four quarters. But look, man, sometimes you just got to wait for the music, and I know y'all wanted to drop. So I'm about to let it drop for y'all right here, man. Just listen to it in the background. Y'all hear that? Things about to turn up. I back up. I hesitate, I draw a bomb, 360! <laughs> you see my motherfucking bitch! You see them niggas snapping on the bitch! Y'all gonna stop playing me, check the replay, man. Check them, come on, really? That's what I'm doing out here in the regular game? Your boy IKC turning up. Let's go, y'all. But look, it's 56 to 44. Things kind of look out of reach, really. Like, if you're playing on Hall of Fame and you get a lead like this, it shouldn't be hard for you to keep it. Like, I promise you it shouldn't be hard for you to keep it. Usually, you know, if you have like a four-point lead, you know, that's when you guys are on the seesaw and things can change. But did anybody check out the foul by DeAndre Jordan? He's also frustrated as well, so... These guys don't have their core Twin Towers in the game. And yes, I know I'm going to call them guys the Twin Towers. But look, you got to you gotta give it to them, man. You know, they're, they're pretty good. You know, they're pretty good one-two punch in the paint. But uh, I'm going to the line right now. I'm going to show you all these free throws because I'm going to let you all know that we weren't going to the line and effing up. We was going to the line nailing these things. You know, I was just out there with the hammer. I had the nice little coffin. I had a bag full of nails. So, you know, I could just I could just knock them down all game, you know. <laughs> 
But yeah, man, it was a pretty good game, and this is even before halftime, man. But I will say this. You cannot count a team out on Hall of Fame. So I'm going to tell you right now, even though that block came, you guys are thinking, man, they, these dudes are shitty. They did come back. You know, they came back from a nice little deficit and bring it back to single digits. But IKC is on the court. And IKC ain't going to let that happen. So what I do is I call for the ball. Yeah, I wait it out. I say, you know what? Let me call a nice little isolation. You know what I'm saying? Get this guy on a poster real quick. You know what I'm saying? So I hit him with a nice little one-two move. He acting like he don't know what's about to happen. He trying to change stands. I'm like, you know what? Let me just drive by him real quick. Go to the basket. And oh, man. But I'm saying though, y'all saw Blake in that poster too, right? Yeah, I know. I know my man Matt Barnes caught the worst of it, but Blake was in that poster, so y'all best believe he mad. But yeah, let me tell you guys about uh, my new dribbling uh, stance. I actually decided to change my dribbling stance to upright. Yeah, by the way, Blake got another foul. But um, I decided to change my dribble stance to upright, and I will say. It is so easy to drive past people, and it kind of makes no sense. If you're in a low dribble stance, aren't you lower to the ground? You can push off your back foot. I don't get that. 2K, you might want to address that. But, I, you know, I got a 2K15 wish list, you know, all about that. And, you know, that, that we'll talk about that later. But uh, check out Blake Griffin reaching in, grabbing his fourth foul. So it's like every time I touch the ball, Blake Griffin is coming after me with i mean he probably just see red as soon as he see me so you know we're gonna let it ride but check this out right here man pass it to anthony davis and blake griffin gets his fifth foul in the third quarter mind you that's an and one play so anthony davis is still scoring points the brow is snapping this game and we are celebrating like we literally laughing at this dude in huddles you know as we're walking back to the bench but check out the alley hey blake my bad i ain't mean to put you in my highlight the wrong way but yeah that just happened bruh 6-1 catching alley oops over you you can't even smack the ball down you out of your element you know what i'm saying the game is almost over he, he don't even know it though he ain't even know it the game almost over check that out. come on really Really? Y'all just going to leave my man streaking to the rim like that? And yeah, by the way, y'all need to add an alley-oop poster to NBA 2K15. Like, somebody catch an alley-oop and actually poster somebody? Yeah, I'm talking about, like, DeAndre Jordan slash Brandon Knight type action. But yeah, Anthony Davis is still going off on Blake. Now, at this point in time, I'm pressing the issue for that sixth foul. Right now, I want to actually reenact that moment in game one against the Warriors. But did anybody see Blake Griffin face when he realized he wasn't going back out on the floor because of that fifth foul? Yeah, that kind of pissed him off. Now, you guys saying I'm going straight at his chest. I'm trying to draw the sixth foul. And I will have to say, it was very frustrating. We went half a quarter. I still couldn't get the foul. And as soon as Blake came in, I was right at his chest. Now, Blake Griffin did jump on that play, but CP3 ended up getting the foul because it was more contact via him. But, like I told you guys, I'm going to try to get him out of here. I'm going to try to reenact it. But did anybody see that ankle breaker? We ain't going to talk about how I just dunked on Blake Griffin. Anybody see that ankle breaker right there? Like, my man Reddick, like, you good, fam? Like, I don't know. You might have to go to the locker room after that one. Somebody need to check this guy's ankle out. Somebody might need to tape it up. But, you know, it's four minutes and 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Blake Griffin is still getting torched. By Anthony Davis. Don't grab your sleeve now. Your sleeve ain't gonna save you. You need some skills out there. You need to learn the fundamentals. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but look at Blake Griffin turning the ball over, man. I'm telling you, it's set in. The seed was planted long ago. You know, we're just letting this plant grow. We're letting the fire grow in inside of Blake Griffin. And check out that spin move I just hit CB3 with. CP3 better stop playing before I put him on his butt again. I've been real chill against CP3 because I've been at the shooting guard position. But he better chill because it might get ugly for him. I'm telling you, you know, I got that new dribble stance, so it might get real ugly. But, yeah, that spin move right there, man, it works wonders. But Blake Griffin, guess what? That just happened. Roll the clip. Only 19 minutes played here this afternoon for Griffin.
Blake, don't even suit up next game. Just stay home, bro. You guys took care of business at home, winning the first two games and putting the pressure on the other guys to hold serve on their home court. What's the plan for this team to try to steal one on the road? Hey, 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 before my man answer that question, I just wanted to let y'all know I enjoyed making this video. If you enjoyed watching it, definitely leave it a like and, you know, leave me a comment below telling me how you like the video. We need to come out strong and set the tone early. If we get them playing our style of basketball like we did these first two games, it'll be tough for them to recover. Easier said than done, but that's going to be our goal going in for sure. Year, this is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.